All right, and bag of fruit carries. Got my bench seat stuff out. I'm putting bucket seats back in because I I can't run the bench seat. They don't latch and they can't attach to the roll bar or nothing like that. I'm gonna fix this where they attach the roll bar just like they're supposed to be. Uh, got tubing. I'm gonna bend my own custom roll cage for this deal. So that's what's about to happen. All right. Well, I worked yesterday and stuff. I got a. A different bigger steering wheel in it the cover for it's right here this bigger steering wheel I absolutely love it man it's so good 80s truck or van or something or another but it's big and it works great love it uh, also my new seating arrangement this thing feels so much better I'm not hugging the steering wheel I can pop right in there I'm set back I can extend my legs out much better than I did before. See, so, that's, I've always been up like this, like, bah. I can kind of lean back a little bit, so it'll be better. Got pretty, pretty good gap above my head for the roll bar. Oh, man, I can't get over how much better this thing is to turn with this wheel on it. My feet are down, my door bar will run right down through there. I built super heavy duty brackets. And they go through the seat with plates on the on the top side of the seat that go through and have a nut through the bottom and then the brackets themselves are welded to the floor when i take the seat back out i'll show you because i got to cut the carpet to go around it but doing all this before i start making the roll cage because i want to be comfortable and build the cage around where i'm comfortable at so this is I'm laid back pretty good i can reach the shifter pretty good and push the starter and all that stuff so when i'm strapped in tight i should be all right it should be good. All right, it is welded to the floor, all the way around. Everything that sucker is not moving. It have to rip the floor out to come out. So that's the way I did the '64, and I wrecked that car. Hit the wall at 90, head on. Seat never moved. The whole front of the car folded up underneath me, but the seat never moved. So it'll be mounted solid there, and it'll be mounted to the roll bar, and it will not budge. So good. It's a little overkill, but I've wrecked. So, I know, like, all the stuff like, oh, it's too much, it's too much. It's not. Trust me, it ain't. You, you got to build these cars not like, well, I might never crash. You better build them where you're like, you might as well go ahead and figure you're going to wreck sooner or later. So, build everything to where it needs to be. I mean, even this, like, I would have even more in it than what I'm about to put in it but it's I got to be able to street drive it so it'll have I think a 10 points what I'm going to build the hoop door bars halo down bars out the back it'll be good enough for what I'm going to run I can always go faster can't ever be safe enough like I said <laughs> I hit the wall at 90 I couldn't imagine hitting the wall like 130 or 140 but it I come out without a scratch so it's worth it a little extra weight ain't gonna hurt nothing, just turn the boost up. It's beautiful. That's the beautiful part about turbo cars. Add a little weight, add a little boost. All right, well, my first roll cage I ever, and Carrie's helped Bert do a bunch of these, but never like done all the measurements and stuff. So we're fixing to figure this out right now. I never had to hold the smart end of the tape measure. <laughs> I think we can figure it out. Oh yeah. So we did the math with the, with the bins and however they has to be, and it's, Ten and a half foot is what I'm going to need, so I'm going to go ahead and measure to 11, cut it at 11, and then we're going to start bending. All right, so Carrie told me to lay it out like this. We found the center. This is 11 foot, so we found the center of that. And then we went, we measured inside the car with the bar where it needed to be. So now we go over 17 and a half inches, and this is where the bend starts. Yeah. That goes down. Just yeah. Like well, that bend starts. All right. <laughs> and so it begins. <laughs> Bending tubing. <laughs> Trying to get into the back of the cover. All right, got our bar level. We got our first bend in. Fix to do the second bend. Everything's nice and level. We flip the thing so it'll go the opposite way. All right, it's bent and it fit. I just got to trim some off the bottom. Figure out where it's gonna go right across there. But see that, nice and tight. Oh, it's gonna be good. All right, got the hoop in. 
the plates in, the hoop in, and weld it. I'm build some gussets, go in these corners right there and brace that a little more. But everything goes off of the hoop, so that was important to get. I just bent this one. This is going to be a halo slash door bar. See that? It'll be up in there tighter. Just got to trim a little off that end, but that is about perfect. So we're going to duplicate that on the other side. Just took a little piece of metal and bent it and guessed. They work great. That's over here me today. We got the, these bars bent last night. And I got them all welded with the plate and stuff to the floor. Got them welded up top. Both sides. Run down to the brace and stuff on the floor. And that is a pretty nice fit for some homemade bent bars. <laughs> oh. But yeah. Now. Clears me pretty good. Clears the steering wheel. I'm going to put a brace across there. Race across here, down to the tunnel, then the, the back bars, and then the door bars. So, it's progress. We're getting there. After this is done, I can go test and tune. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when the pressure was on. <laughs> yeah, we took, a, we took a break from uh, building roll cage to play with pellet guns. Hell yeah, he brought out these pellet guns. Yeah. All right, so I wanted to keep my back seat, so I just sliced holes and crammed the tubes through there. Boy, look at that. Ain't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> now I still got a back seat. Full interior, which is good for DOT. DOT. <laughs> not bad, not too bad at all. It's a poster's nightmare right there. <laughs> what did you do? It's a perfect seat in there, though. That big yeah. seat will be in there from now on. Yeah. <laughs> Just gotta get up there and weld that and weld the back bars in and then I can put the other part of the seat. I'll do the, the crossbar, then do the other part of the seat. Then door bars and that front bar. Alright, well it's all welded in. As far around as I can get, it's almost all the way. I mean Almost all the way around. Huh? Yeah, but I got almost all the way around. I mean, like, yeah. probably more than 75. All right, I got my door bar in. I got my crossbar tacked. The door bars in and welded. Comes right down between the top of my shoulder and my elbow. Oh, I got stuff all over the lens. Cutting to fit the crossbar that goes across the front support there. And but this thing is awesome. Like it, the, the way I put the bend in and all that is just not perfect. So, that rolls right around there. Clears my shoulders. I, should, I probably got about an inch between me and the bar. So, if I, it'll stop that door if it ever gets caved in, and I'll stop it real good. So, hopefully, that never, ever, 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 ever happens. But if it does. So what this is in here for. Hope I never ever use it, but better to have it not need it. Well, this is the first cage I've ever bent and made every piece. You know, it's not a kit. I've bent every one of these. It's the first one I've ever done where I bent it, and I think there's a lot of folks didn't think I could do it, but it come out. It's coming out pretty good. I mean, I'm pretty impressed. And I went with those bars like that because they're stronger that way. I'm going to get me some high density foam and put over there. That thing. Alright, I got the crossbar piece for the halo bent and in. Goes across there. I got this welded in. Crossbar. Got the door bar made and in. And... There's the whole thing. Stand back and look. All right, we got the 
driver's seat support up and I got the passenger seat plates welded to the floor. I was gonna do the back support and the down bars and then put the other door bar in and that'll be a wrap on the roll cage. Mm-hmm. All right, I got my plates and stuff welded to the floor. I run my support bars down to my plates and was able to get my back seat in with almost no hassle, really. But it looks good with the back seat in it. I like it. Oh, yeah. Well, roll cage is done. I still got to put the support over there for that seat. But there it is. She is in there. All right, those seats mounted. I'm trying, I ain't got much paint, but I'm trying to paint everything. There it is. My first full hand-built cage. I know I keep saying that, but it's, that's pretty cool to bend my own bars and make everything myself. I'm on custom rigging. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I went ahead and put me a GoPro mount up there. Just a plate welded to the main hoop for my GoPro. Well, I actually use a GoPro as a data logger. I can see boost, pressure, oil pressure, RPMs, all that right through there. And I can see shifts. I can see everything. So, that's what I use that for. Makes for cool videos, but it's I can go back and see everything. Where boost come in, if boost spikes, I mean, all that stuff. Ain't got no computer, I just use a, a Go Slow. And that ain't even a real GoPro, can't afford a real GoPro, it's a SJ cam. <laughs> it works all right. But, and GoPro's expensive, man. We've been using the same little handheld camera for 10 years. I'd order me some, uh, stamp steel valve covers uh, so I can weld these ends into them because the ones I had I had grommets and they just they wouldn't stay in the valve covers that's on that car now is uh, leaking like crazy I think they're warped up so I'm ordering me a new set probably like $35 from Speedway I welded them pieces in from my evac system so I'm going to go over there to my catch can that we made. And uh, it should be good. we got new valve cover gas and stuff. But uh got new plugs for it. Got to go get some gas. Got to fix a brake line where I welded through and burned the brake line. Doing the roll cage in it. Uh, I lost my hearing in my left ear. I've been going deaf in one ear. It's crazy. Everything sounds all weird. But maybe it'll come back. I don't know. Don't know how I lost it, but it just it's gone. But uh, maybe take it up the road today. I really want to. I ain't got to test the new cam. Got to test nothing. I wanted to go to the street fight deal Saturday. Take it down there and run a quarter mile with it. Uh, but I don't know if I'm be ready in time. All right, fix the brake line. Got the covers and stuff on. I right, mean, Dad was talking. I was talking. I was like, I had these panels on this car, these trim pieces, when I first got the car, and I took them off because they just. It looked grandpa-ish or whatever, but I put them back on because I think it's hilarious. I think it's just too funny to have him on this car. But it hadn't done it on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about that show car stuff, man. Just adds to the party, you know? <laughs> Alright, well, Carla vacuumed out my car, cleaned up, look how party it is. Unless you vacuum my car out, it's all good and clean. And uh, this is with the new cam hydraulic roller with solid lifters. Be the first trip up the road with this hole, with the cage, with everything been done to it. So we're just gonna take it up the road and cruise around. I got my little dash down there to tell me what kind of mile an hour I'm doing and stuff like that. But that's what we're gonna do. Take it up the road and ride it around a little bit. Not too much because my tag's super dead, but. 
Let's go up here and make a loop with it. See how it does. Damn. I tore the carpet a little bit. I think I don't know if I'm But that's pretty good right there.